Greetings YouTubers, Ilcher Maximus here, and I'm coming to you from my Fortress of Solitude, or the rest of Indiana likes to call it, Snow Apocalypse 2011. Um, I wanted to talk about the new Superman reboot. I want to, uh, I want to talk about um, the producers, the director, um, writing the cast that has already been um, set and, and ideas for cast members to come. So let's, you know, let's talk about it. I want to hear your guys' ideas, your thoughts, your feelings. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm interested in the project right now, and uh, everything I've seen so far looks pretty decent. So, you know, let's take a look at it. Let's talk about, um, first of all, director Zack Snyder. He's done an outstanding job in the past. 300, great comic book adaptation movie. Watchmen, my opinion, the best comic book movie that's ever been made. I can't think of any anyone that's been so well adapted to the screen. Uh, so, kudos for uh, Zack Snyder, uh, Warner Brothers. Good job. Good pick. Um, obviously, Chris Nolan is heavily involved in this, uh, producing, I believe. He um, did a great job with the Batman movie, so Warner Brothers wants to reconstruct that success with Superman, for obvious reasons. So, David Goyer has been brought in to help pin this. Um, He's got some stuff online uh, that he's kind of talked about which comic books. I haven't got to look at that yet. If you know, let me know. Um, you know, what comic books inspired him for this reboot? Um, leave a video message. Leave a, a text message. Um, I'm, I'm going to jump on online when I get off of here and kind of look that up myself as well. Um, big things I have for it, things I want to see. I didn't like the suit in Superman Returns. Um, I didn't like, it, it looked real rubbery, I didn't like the cape, didn't like the boots, the S was way too small, the design for the S itself, eh, okay, that wasn't too bad, but I just did not care for that. Um, hopefully this new movie, the S shield, will be a lot uh, more dominant on the chest than it should be. I personally like the older incarnations, the old TV shows, and the Chris Reeves movies, um, with just cloth. I, I think it should be just cloth. Um, so hopefully we have some, some big things there. Villains. We don't know that much about who's going to be villains. Um, since this is a reboot, unfortunately, we know there's not going to be any Kevin Spacey as Lex Luthor, uh, which is a shame because I love Spacey as Luthor. I also like Brandon Routh as Superman. I thought he did a great job. Uh, but of course they've hired Henry uh, Cavill to uh, be... Superman, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Um, what other villains? I'd like to see, actually, Bizarro. You know, let's maybe do a Luther cloning Superman, creating a Bizarro uh, thing going on. Um, Metallo would be an interesting one to do. Um, we haven't seen Zod since Superman 2. I think those would be really good villains uh, for it. Um, but we really haven't heard anything on villains yet, so I, I think there was rumor of Metallo, maybe, um, but I haven't seen anything to confirm that lately. So again, if you know, let me know. Um, so what I want to do now is talk about um, Henry Cavill. Uh, Cavill? Cavill? How do you, how do you pronounce that? Um, Callow Prime. I think you know how to uh, pronounce that. <laughs> you were talking about it on one of your messages. Um, so let's talk about him as Superman, and then I also want to talk about, I was on uh, Dark Horizons earlier, and they were talking about some of the casting choices for Lois Lane, and I want to talk about that too. All right, so now we have Henry Cavill as Superman. This is our new Superman. Um, I know him from The Tudors um, that was on uh, the Cable series. Um, I want to say he was the Duke of Suffolk, is that right? Um, didn't really stick out to me. The show was good. I liked the Tudors as a whole. I only watched a few episodes, so I couldn't uh, proclaim to, to know a lot about it. Um, but I didn't have any issues with any of the actors from the episodes that I saw, and those type of shows generally do not cast bad actors. So ability-wise, I'm presuming that he's got the stuff. Um, looking at a picture of him here, yeah, I could go with it. Um, he might need some baby blue contacts, uh, but his jawline's right. He's got the little dimple in his chin. He's a pretty tall guy. Um, he looks a little beefier than Brandon Ralph, um, although I think Ralph was an awesome Superman. 
And as Kellel Prime mentions in one of his uh, uh, video logs, that uh, you know he pretty much copied um, Chris Reeves. But um, you know that's fine. I mean, he set the example for Superman. And you know, let's see what this guy can do. I, I think Superman needs to be somebody that can be that all-American um, type of uh, person, but goes beyond that. Um, a lot of people are going to complain that he's British. Who cares? I mean, come on, America, we're all watered-down Brits in reality, uh, for the most part. You know, he, he, he in, 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 you know, Superman's not from here, so who cares? Um, but you're going to have those nitpickers out there. I know that's going to happen. Um, I think he's a good choice, um, just by looking at uh, some of his uh, photos that are out there online of him, and uh, just the fact that I know he was on the Tudors, and I know um, that that's a good show. So, sure, we can go with that. We just got to have that wholesome uh, feel to him, you know, um, that kind of all-round good personality, brought up right in, you know, Midwest rural farming America goes to the big city, wants to do right, he's got these powers, and he wants to do good, you know. Um, the whole thing about Superman, and I hope they do this right, it's not Clark Kent's is the secret identity of Superman. That's not Superman, okay, that's not the comic. Superman is the secret identity of Clark Kent, and I think Smallville is really kind of captured that. And they need to make sure in this film that that is portrayed. Okay, I think that's a key element for the Superman stories. And you know, there's there's a reason it's been around forever, and there's a reason that it's going to keep going. And that's a key element in my opinion. So um, if this actor can do that, great. He's got the look. Now let's see if he's got the chops. All right, so Lois Lane, we've got a few ladies that are um, up on deck to uh, maybe try to take this role. Um, first of all, on the left here, we've got Rachel McAdams. Now, she wouldn't be too bad. She's a very attractive lady. Uh, she's a good actress. Um, I know she was real close to getting the Catwoman role. Um, since no one's involved in the Superman, obviously he's got uh, a liking for her as an actress, so... You know, maybe maybe he moves her over there. He's got a history of doing that. Actors from the Batman movies going into Inception, and, and, and actors from Inception going into Batman. So it would not surprise me to see him maneuver um, actors like that uh, from a project of his to another project. So not far-fetched. She's okay, in my opinion. Jessica Biel. She's a second in our little mugshot lineup here. Um... I really like Jessica. I think that she could really pull it off. She's a strong actress. She does well in action movies. She's smoking hot. Um, she did a great job in one of my favorite horror movie remakes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, she, she's, she's good. I, she's probably um, one of my top choices of this group of ladies to play Lois Lane. So I definitely thumbs up for Jessica Biel. She's got my vote. Uh, next up, here in the middle, we've got uh, Diana Argron, Agron, and uh, a bunch of people from Glee are going to kill me for not pronouncing that right, but I don't watch that show, so I don't know anything about her acting abilities, but just by looking at her, doesn't look like a Lois Lane to me. She's way too young, way too young, um, so I would probably rule her out right away. I don't think she's going to last long on this list. Uh, then we've got Kristen Stewart from the Twilight movies. No, absolutely not. First of all, I hate those Twilight movies. They're the dumbest things I've ever seen. It's like True Blood Light. I can't stand them. Um, I don't like her acting in them. Um, she's way too young as well, I think. Keep her out of the Superman stuff. Just keep her in those little Twilight movies and all the emo vampire goth kids are, can have her. Um, no, doesn't have my vote. So, And I... I'm looking forward to your texts and video posts of me slaughtering Twilight. <laughs> um, and then last on the list here is uh, Malin Ackerman. Okay, She's from Watchmen. Now, this is an interesting pick. Um, I'm really interested in her because, um, first of all, she's older than Henry. Um, Dark Horizons talk about this. They, they say she's, she's significantly older than Henry, but... I don't see anything wrong with that. 
Think about this. When Clark Kent goes to the Daily Planet to get his job, Lois Lane is an already successful, prominent reporter there. She probably would be older than Clark Kent, right? And there's nothing wrong with a you know younger guy going after an older woman. You know why not? I I do not see age being an issue here. In fact, I kind of like that. Um, she's probably best known um for the Watchmen right now at this point. Uh, she's been in uh some other things. Couple's Retreat. She was really good in Couple's Retreat. Really funny there. Um, but you know uh, her as uh, the second Silk Spectre in The Watchmen, um, which of course was directed by Zack Snyder. So there's another tie there. Maybe Zack will bring her on board um, from his proud comic book projects uh, from one to the other, another DC one. So she's a real strong runner for me too. I'd have a hard time choosing between Jessica Biel or uh, uh, Malin. And, you know, between the two, man, that's a hard decision. Um, I think Jessica Biel has a stronger fan base than Malin. Malin's kind of an, uh, she's, she's that, Hey, isn't that that girl from that movie? You know, she's that kind of actress right now. So her her name's not real popular. Um, Jessica is much more in, in, in the starlight than she is. But I think that Mullen would probably do a better Lois Lane in all reality. Um, but if we had to push her out of the light, definitely Jessica Biel. So um, there we have it. That's what we got going on with Superman right now. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Leave me a video message. Leave me a text message. Um, you know, let's talk about this. And as more information pops up, I will update. So thanks for watching, guys and gals, and I will see you later.